uh, you know, Kinetic replaced the um, console cover bracket with a with one that was actually um, folded in the right direction, so that it was a manufacturing defect. So I'm going to now install the uh, the uh, shift console cover because I think I have everything um, adjusted the way I want. Instead of using the plastic, uh, the little green plastic tabs that hold the cover in, I bought. I went to the hardware store. I bought some M6 uh, U clamps or, or U, U nuts and some M6 bolts. And so I'll use those instead. I'll just push it on this guy like this, just like that. Uh, a little bit more secure than the, the plastic and uh, self-tapping screws. Um, so next step is, is putting the console on. I already test fit the console and I actually can get it on if I pull the parking brake as hard as I can. And, uh, and then I'm going to have to um, zip tie the shift boot back onto the reverse lockout collar. The shift console is no fun to try and put back on. The uh, holes are hard to line up. Here's the the problem with the shift console with with this guy. Um, it it doesn't interfere. You can hear it touching there. And you can hear it scraping. Now, all the way over in reverse, hear that? So, uh, the console and the shifter don't play nice. Of course, it's a Lotus, so it's going to be making so much noise while it's driving down the road that it's probably not going to be noticeable. Um, so, uh, yeah, that kind of is a pain to put back together. It It is a, a little bit higher. I, that's actually not even noticeable. The, sh the uh, brake lever actually lands a, a little bit lower than it did before. Um, so that's kind of nice, actually. Uh, it's, it's closer to the console. Shift action, you know, well, so I did my um, centering thing. And there's not much play in there. There's not much play in there. You know, there's the, it's it's good. Um, so I'm gonna vacuum a little bit, um, put the seats back in, and uh, then I'll be done in here. I gotta put the pans back underneath the car, but. Uh, other than that, uh, this job is, oh, and the brake uh, lever handle, and this job is all done. Uh, so I'm getting the console back on. The little pocket thing in the back sits probably about, I don't know, half a centimeter or so higher uh, because the rear of the console sits higher. So I had to uh, shave off. And it, Luckily, I have a Dremel. It did a pretty decent job. I had to shave, <clears throat> shave off that amount off of here so it would sit back where it's supposed to sit. I think it's I think it's gonna fit okay. Holy moly! All right, that passenger seat is not fun to put back in, and it is because of the shifter. So the console you can see is is bent here. It's actually touching the um, seat rail. So the whole seat wants to push towards the outside of the car and of course the holes don't line up unless you're push, shoving it towards the um, center of the car and you know this little bolt right here is you can't get a straight shot on it and the one down you can't even see it but at the back is you can't get a straight shot at either. Anyway, that's done. So uh, the interior is back together. Let's take a look. Let's take a look at the shifter. All right. 
sitting in the seat now. Uh, there's shifter. Still plenty of uh, leg room. So uh, uh, that little bend in the stock shifter is not really necessary. Uh, this feels good. Does it feel different from stock? Mm, the, you know, not really. Um, but but it feels good. A little play in in gear, not much. You know, it springs back. There's there's I guess a little more play in this in fifth and sixth. Um, but again, that's because the fifth sixth gate doesn't have a stop. The uh, first second obviously does. This is the the bad part. Uh, reverse. Hear that? So I'm rubbing on something in the console to get into reverse. Um, it catches reverse, no problem. So it's it's a clean shift, but it's rubbing on the console, and it doesn't feel great to rub on the console, and it doesn't sound great. Um, but uh, you, the, I don't know if it's hard to show up on camera, but the console really is not uh, moving. Um, it's pretty solid. As it was with Stan's mod. I mean, it, it really didn't move around much with Stan's mod on it either. Um, but it's nice. It's solid. It feels good. Um, I probably could have done a little better on that zip tie, but the zip tie underneath the shift uh, um, uh, boot. But it's all right. Um, so overall, again, uh, my impressions haven't changed too much. It's it still feels pretty close to stock. It feels nice and uh, mechanical, but uh, it did before. Um, I do kind of like that. I, I think the um, the uh, brake handbrake handle is lower. It, it sure feels lower, and I, I think I've read that on the forum as well. So um, it's less in the way, but it works just fine. Uh, like I said, I've got, I think I've got plenty of leg room to maneuver. Um, the heel and towing. It feels pretty good. And I don't use these shoes. These are actually too big for, for driving this car. So, uh, all buttoned up, all done.